Hi, this is Mike with Open It and Play, and we're going to do the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest Black Widow Marvel Legends review and unboxing. I've already opened the back part of the tape, but I haven't checked out the figure a lot yet, but we can see the box real quick, I guess, before I do that. This one's kind of a cool box because of the artwork. It has from the Black Widow mini series. I have this comic. It's the first appearance of Yelena Belova, but of course we're looking at Black Widow herself, the original. So, but um, here she is on the back, and the usual bottom of the box is normal, and the top of the box is the Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest. Okay, and we'll Pop open the box, get her out. I've been waiting for this figure for a very long time, but hadn't been able to get her. So now that I'm back in America, I can finally get her. I've got a lot of accessories, and this is the debut of the new hyper articulated body. I don't know if it has the toe joints or not, but I don't think so, but it does have awesome heads. Hopefully my my figure will come with all of the parts it's supposed to have, so. Okay, here she is, right out of the box. The lighting is pretty dark in here, and since she's a dark figure, it'll be even harder. But, uh, you can see her, she's got two open hands right out of the box. And she has the double do double jointed uh, knees and double jointed arms. Compose those real quick. Oh my goodness, that's tight. She's able to do it, but she's really tight right out of the box, so it's kind of hard to do. But here you can see these kind of. I wish it would brighten up. Okay, and the um, thing that a lot of people have been talking about, she has the the double articulation. I think it's was called the kind of reverse reverse style uh, posability on the chest and waist. So she kind of has like what they call is like a reverse ab crunch. I think it is. It's my first time to have a figure with this that I know of. So I don't really know the terminology for this, but they've got the, the range up here. It's not great, but I knew that already because of some other reviews I watched. But this is really cool. She can go back. She can go forward quite a lot because of that middle joint that's hidden by her belt. So, okay. And she does come with a really cool face right out of the box. This is probably going to be my favorite of the faces, but I don't, I don't know yet because I haven't seen all of them exactly, but it's really cool looking one. This year, well this past year I guess it was, saw a lot of different redhead figures. We've got Scarlet for G.I. Joe Classified, we've got Mary Jane 2-pack with Green Goblin, and then we've got... Natasha Romanov, Black Widow. These are the parts that she came with. Smoke effects, blast effects. Sorry, it's not focusing. Smoke effects, blast effects, and the different gauntlets that are actually firing. So, but I'm sorry, it's really hard to see. It's so hard to do the videos in this room be good if I can do it when I get back to Japan. Even have a problem with my phone overheating here. These are the other arms, or the other arms, the other hands. So we've got two trigger hands and two fists in addition to those open hands that she comes with out of the box. My phone is having a lot of t trouble. Okay. And we also have 
the extra heads. This is the thing that everybody's very happy about. Oh, we've also got a couple more things. And it looks like... Oops, there's the other thing. It looks like I got the right stuff here. There are the guns. She's got a couple of pistols, one with a silencer. And then those blast effects go to the guns. And then she has a couple of her widow sting gauntlets. Jeez, it's hard to focus. My phone is having a problem with overheating, so I'm afraid the battery's already going bad on my new phone. But there we go. Now you can see them. Okay, and what everybody is looking forward to is the two different alternate heads so I'm sorry it's going to be really poor for being able to see them in this video because of the problem my camera is having with focusing in this dark room but okay thanks for joining me on this really quick one um I would highly recommend this figure it's probably the ultimate version of Black Widow that is in existence so far I kind of kit bashed my own to be similar to this but of course mine doesn't have the posability that this has but uh, I'm pretty happy with the one that I made but this one is definitely better for posing so okay thank you for joining me and uh, I'll see you on the next one